What's up, you guys? It's me, Juliet, the Scorpion Goddess, and we're doing Tarot of the Week from Tuesday the 21st all the way until Sunday the 20-something. 26. Yeah. So stay tuned to see what the Tarot cards have in store as a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm Juliet, the Scorpion Goddess. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am an intuitive tarot reader, Western tropical astrologer, Reiki practitioner, and a witch. So if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. I post every Monday. I did take a break, so I didn't post anything last week, but I'm back now, even though it is Tuesday. Um, but I'm back. So we just had that new moon in Pisces on Sunday, Monday. If you haven't done your new moon manifestations yet, don't worry, you still have time because I feel like going Tuesday into Wednesday is probably going to be the best time if you haven't yet to do your new moon manifestations because now the moon, she's in this place of gaining energy and momentum while still having that new moon energy with it. And it's moving and transitioning into Aries. So it's giving that go get momentum mindset drive. Um, so this is really good. If you haven't done your new moon manifestations yet, definitely do so Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and don't worry, even if you haven't, you, you can still manifest at any point, really. Uh, it's just what you connect to and understanding the astrology of things can really get you going to best align to connect with whatever it is that's happening uh the next step in your life so for example with this new moon in pisces that we had to get the best out of it what you can do is look at your natal chart and see where does pisces fall in are there planets or is it an empty house is there a combination of like you know this house and these planets whatever it is how can i connect these things within pisces to you know, manifest, attract, and align with that energy. So, for example, with me, I have an empty 11th house in Pisces because I'm a Taurus rising. So, for me, the 11th house is about your hopes, wishes, dreams, friendships, communities, uh, technology, stuff like that. So, I would manifest somewhere with, like, you know, being spiritually, divinely, subconsciously connected. Um, you know, dropping that ego in these places to really persevere in this area in my life to create something new, planting that seed and seeing six months from now how that works out. And that's for everyone. That's just an example with the 11th house. So with that being said, make sure you like this video if you haven't yet because it boosts out to the algorithm. We're going to be using um, the God and Moon Tarot to do this week's collective reading. So take what resonates, leave what does not for somebody else. Is a general reading so not everything is going to connect for you uh some stuff will some stuff will not if you landed on this video stay tuned to hear you know there's got to be a reason why you're here that's how i see things so we're going to see for this week for the collective everybody watching everyone that's here messages that everyone here needs to hear and know to the ten of swords oh my god I dropped like half my deck. So it's almost feeling like this overwhelmed, defeating mental anguish in a way where it's like, how much more can I seriously take on? I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been feeling very overwhelmed with like so many things have been piling up, maybe mentally, like there's been unexpected changes. Um, there's a lot of things ending quickly and it's like this place where it's like overwhelming, but I get the sense of like, it's time to roll over and get this new chapter started because there's been a lot of, you know, stuff going on up in the head for a long period of time of saying, I really want this thing to happen. I really want this thing. I really want this. I want to be in this new place. I want to have this new energy, whatever it is. And the universe is like, okay, you want this? Well, here are all these unexpected crazy shifts and unexpected crazy changes happening. And now it's time to really put, you know, your money where your mouth is, that, that type of thing. And you're feeling like, okay, all right, I got this. You know, 
it's time to really shake things up and get things done. We get the Ace of Cups with the Knight of Coins. This is abundance. This is this is making something real. This is putting in this creative, fertile energy. Somebody could be getting pregnant this week. Um, this could be a, an actual pregnancy, or this could even be putting, you know, shooting a shot. I see somebody taking a chance um, with some type of creative avenue, something they've been wanting to put out in the world. And it's like they're shooting the shot. There could be an investment that you're trying to make or connecting with people. Somebody is going to be listening. You're going to be networking with the correct and right people because we're now ending this woe is me stuff. And it's like it's time for something new. And we went from the 10 straight to the Ace of Cups, 10 to 1. So we're closing out something completely and ready to start into something brand new and fresh. And this is something that is really near and dear to our hearts. We're working with our heart center I'm picking up on. Um, something with the eyes as I'm taking something out of my eye. <laughs> There's something with the eyes. So maybe um, like me, you find yourself getting something in your eye. And this is spirit trying to say you need to connect inward because everything you're trying to reach outside, you cannot get to until you connect within. That's what this Ace of Cups is talking about. There is an overflow of abundance within you and you, you've you opened these blockages. It's like these different hallways within the mind and within your heart that you have opened up and it's time to express these feelings, express this vulnerability, be open to that and connect with somebody or something with this uh you know it it's like all of these wishes and hopes and things that you want it's it's like um it doesn't have to be a fantasy you can make it a reality with the knight of cups i mean the ace of cups and the knight of coins you can make this a very real thing it's just you have to put the work in you have to put the work in. Knight of Pentacles is very diligent. He says, okay, we can make this work. We're going to put, you know, th this is, you know, picking yourself up and getting the dirty work done and staying consistent and working with it. This Ace of Cups says you're going to keep overflowing. You your cup is overflowing. You have that energy of you know, physically ready to do this. I'm mentally ready to do this. I'm emotionally connected to this. I'm over, you know, it, it's like things feel aligned and connected. We've stepped out of that mental anguish stuff that I was talking about in the beginning. What else is happening for everybody here? Oh my God, my phone, my battery's going to die. We got the Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Fool. Hmm, 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 hmm. There could be some bumps in the road this week. Um, there could be some challenges that are really put up and given to you. But again, we have this fool card, just like we had the Ace of Cups. And it's time for something new. So these bumps in the roads, these are these changes happening. You have to change the way you think about things. You have to change the way you speak to yourself and you speak to other people. I see people journaling and writing a lot of things down using, using, um, you know, getting these thoughts out. I, I, it's like, I see someone having like, it's like their mind is like scrambled eggs and it's like their mind is just, it goes so fast. Things happen so fast. I have to write everything out, write everything out, write everything out. And then when you start writing, it's like, oh my God, all these things are finally, you're dumping it into something to release it and let it go because you need to have a change in the way you think, the way you speak to yourself, the way you go about things. It's time for something different you're walking away from how you have done things before and this could even be a person it could be an old version of yourself or this could even be a relationship it's like you have mentally left the building so some of you could be dealing with a current relationship and there's been some shisty stuff going on with this person they've been lying they've been cheating the, the, all these kinds of things are coming up and you have mentally left the building and you're ready to move on and you're not even taking any baggage with you because it's like, you know what? I've had the worst of the worst and I've hit rock bottom and it's time to really pick myself up and move forward just like we were saying with 
right here. This Knight of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. It's time to pick myself up and persevere and move forward to do what I want to do for myself. Because you're focused on you. And I see this really strong divine connection. We're spiritually connecting to something. It's like I'm craving something that I cannot get in this physical realm and that's such a piscean thing anyways and it's perfect with this pisces energy we're closing out the end of the astrological year and the fool is like i'm ready to begin something new and connect in this very um it's just like this spiritual way you, it's you can't put it into words but you can feel it and there's a lot of dream world magic happening with this five of swords and ace of cups. There's so many messages coming, coming. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> there are so many messages coming in from your dreams. There is a lot of astral projection work being done this week. There is a lot of connection to your spirit team, to your ancestors, to the people the energies, the spirits, all of that that you connect with. There's so much busyness happening. And I think that's why I was like, there's so much happening up here. And it may not be a mental up thing, thing up here happening. It's more of like the spiritual connecting coming in. It's like, I got to get this out on paper. I got to write out whatever it is. I see dream journaling happening too. It's, it's just really strong with this, this intuition buildup of connecting to Stuff you can't even explain. It's connecting to the unseen. That's what we're really building up on this week is connecting to the unseen. And we're keeping quiet about it. It's not something we're really going out and talking to anybody about because we're so in our own world. It's like, it's like being on a cloud. You're on cloud nine in a way, but in a spiritual sense. Um, and as I'm saying this, it's like, I can't explain what I'm they're telling me, but I can feel the feeling of it. And it's, it's almost like this bliss kind of feeling. And it's like this hot chakra scented area. So the hot chakra is something we're really going to be connecting with this week of being open and vulnerable and truthful, but it, it feels more like a divine spiritual kind of love, you know, that that's what I'm feeling. So now we're going to pull from the key to the tarot to get some other messages to see what else is going on for this week. Whoa. I dropped like half the deck. Okay, okay. We got the Emperor, Knight of Swords again. <clears throat> Page of Cups reversed and the Ten of Wands. It's almost like taking charge of your life again and having this almost like rebirth kind of moment that I'm seeing with these guys. It's time to step out of, it's almost like you've been holding back from your goals, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your creative flow. There's been some kind of blockage and this week there's like this something's getting unlocked to like get out of that like page of cups reverse kind of energy it's like okay now these creative juices are just like really flowing through and you're taking charge with this emperor and knight of swords you're taking charge of your life you're ta you're you're calling your power back to yourself so i'm seeing you're calling your power back to yourself because there's all this like spiritual connecting that's happening this week and that's it's almost like that's the source of how to realign everything else because if your chakras are unbalanced and your spirit team and you're not spiritually connected it's like nothing's going to align you're carrying too much weight on you and it's like to reconnect this way to reconnect by reclaiming and calling back your power is such it's such a powerful thing to do and that's really what i'm feeling for this whole week i want to pull some oracle cards really quick to see what i can get for you guys 
So we're going to use the Daily Crystal Inspiration. And I want to just see maybe if you have crystals at home, what kind of crystals you can work with. And if not, the type of energies, um, you know, something you can come back to and connect with if you feel like you're being taken off the path of this reading we've we've gone through so far like you know spiritually connecting all these things and you may you know come back off how can i pull myself back in so i want to see what what we can get out of that with these um oracle cards we have fluorite find peace within ah oh, such a pisces thing working with fluorite Fluorite's one of my favorite crystals to work with. I feel like I say this whenever I pull. Act no, I don't. I lied. I definitely don't even say that. But fluorite is one of my favorites. And so it's like finding that peace within. If you notice something does not feel right, this conversation doesn't feel right, this place doesn't feel right, listen to your intuition. Connect within. Find that inner peace. Wake up meditate do some breath work even if it's for two minutes it doesn't matter literally just lay there and do some breath work to connect because in order to connect spiritually you have to you have to, you have to be able to ground yourself to do this so you can have it aligned in the correct way and that's what this is saying find that peace within before you wake up meditate even if it's for two minutes do some breath work Say some things of being in charge of how your day is going to pan out. You know, I'm, you know, gonna take everything head on with, you know, an attitude that nothing will overwhelm me. Whatever, you know, whatever you say. But it's finding that peace within. Be able to come back to this place of if something doesn't feel right, I can always come back to doing this breathwork meditation. That's for two minutes or whatever it is. Or at the end of the day, I can run myself a bath drinking water is going to be so important because we are in a water season so drink your water up your water intake if you're only drinking no water one glass of water double it intake it do it trust me i see people having like really crazy prominent dreams too hematite ground yourself the cards are literally just saying, so these cards, whenever you do tarot, oracle, any type of stuff like this, it is just a physical tool to connect to the stuff that's already around you. So the messages I'm saying, I'm just using the cards to kind of help like, oh, this is what I'm picking up on. I don't need to use these. I can already connect on my own. And a lot of people can already do that. It's finding that peace within. Spicy season is going to be very strong with building your intuition. So listening to your intuition this week, ground yourself. If you feel like, hey, you know what? I'm going to take a walk in a different way than I usually do. Or I'm going to stop into this place that I've never been into before. And you don't understand why, but you're just doing it. That is your intuition. That is trusting the things. That is going with the flow of the energy. That is Pisces energy ground yourself to find that balance because the opposing sign of pisces is virgo and earth sign so when this sister signs the pisces head in the clouds virgo feet on the ground working and having these two both connected aligns you and that is going to be the best way to work with this energy to really connect to your spirit team and put that out into the physical world that's what this week is all about I mean, going on forward too, but that's what this week is really showing us. It's that step into something. It's planting that seed, spiritually connecting to something you can't even put into words. So this is Tarot of the Week. Please comment down below if you made it this far. A Pisces emoji and a crystal because it just feels like stuff is so magical and divine. Oh, and do a cloud. Do a cloud. Please do a cloud. <laughs> Pisces crystal and a cloud just because everything just feels so ugh, can't even put words into it and I'll catch you guys next week and keep an eye out with the notification bell to see when I do post the Pisces season terascopes it should be coming up soon all right thanks guys oh, yeah.